Hello, and welcome to the next session of Get to Know Hedge Fund Investing with Carl, the Carl Investment Platform. I'm Jamie Eppenberg, and today we are talking about K2. Couple reminders, this is a very high level overview. Um, when I am talking about statistics, I am looking at the last four years plus year to date. Um, we are in July, so <laughs> uh, I don't know how often we'll be updating this, but it's a slice in time. Um, so K2. K2, uh, most people um, most people really like the historical performance of K2, other than the last year where they begin to wonder, wow, it seems like the previous four years were really strong. Um, and then at the end of 2020, uh, it started to behave a little differently. Now, I will mention that the strategy that the Carl K2 is based on is has been around for a long time. Um, that K2 strategy is probably around... 20 years old. Um, and so the models, um, when you talk to Alan Harmer is the strategy manager. And when you talk to him and you talk about the models they've worked, they've been through a lot of different types of markets. Um, and you can look at COVID and, and March and February, 2020, um, you know, they, they floated right on through as it were. So you know, we've talked to him about what's happening in the last year with K2. It's within their risk profiles and the risk profiles are part of what's happening. Um, they, you know, the investments they're going into, they get out as, as the risk profile indicates and then they, the investments uh, are recovering. Um, he is at this point not concerned, he said, and ha has seen this before. And so they've said, while you will look in the Carl app at, at the Carl investment and see in the last four years, this has not happened. He says, you know, this has happened once or twice within the multi-year period of the investment the Carl K2 is based on. And they are looking to the strategy and the algorithms and systems and the data that the strategy is taking in um, to make the adjustments uh, as it has in the past. And they um, are confident in those adjustments. So when you look at K2, you will notice it is a long only. It is looking for gains in the market only. And if it does not see an opportunity for a statistical gain, K2 will keep you in cash. And there has been a lot of cash in the past uh, months within K2 as well. There's a lot of uncertainty in the market uh, with uh, inflation and interest rates in particular. You know, where is the market headed is a big question. A lot of people are preparing. It's, it's going to go down at some point. These are big factors within the K2 strategy and, and what it's looking at and, and behaving and reacting around. So we'd say you're going to see the last four years of K2 and look at the performance and be probably impressed. We have a lot of investors who would say this is pretty strong. Um, in the last four years, it's outperformed the market quite a bit. Um, the growth of $100 in the period I look at, right, you're looking at 367, uh, 68, if we're estimating up to the S&P, that's K2, to the S&P growing to 197. So 397 to 197, there's a growth opportunity here. Um, and some people would look at the current behavior of K2 and say that maybe it's a good time to get in um, when a strategy you know, is having some bumps like it is, if you anticipate it going back to its regular trajectory, and that's a decision every investor has to make on their own, now's not a bad time to get into K2 from that perspective. So looking at K2, it's all about what you think of the historical performance, which I always have to mention is not always indicative of future performance, but it is your decision as an investor to decide what you think about this and where would this fit in your portfolio. I, I, you know, we do want you to be aware as a long only, um, if they do not see that strong opportunity for growth, right? They're going to protect your capital. That's what this strategy does. The risk profile here still very strong. Um, I highly recommend going into the Carl mobile app and taking a look at it. Uh, even with the bumps that it's having happening, if you look at the risk you're taking for the potential on K2, um, most people, honestly, they're fairly impressed by this strategy, even given um, its last, uh, this year, uh, what's happening with it. Um, the podcast with Alan, by the way, is a also a great opportunity to learn about this strategy and how it got started. I think it's really interesting um, how, they, how they created it um, and have managed it over time. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.